A total solar eclipse will grace the skies over North America on Monday, one of the most hotly anticipated sky-watching events in recent years. Weather permitting, millions of people in Mexico, 15 U.S. states and eastern Canada will have the chance to see the moon slip between Earth and Sun, temporarily blocking the Sun's light. The total solar eclipse will be visible along a path of totality that measures more than 100 miles wide and extends across the continent. Along that path, the moon will fully obscure the sun, causing afternoon skies to darken for a few minutes. In all other parts of the continental US, a partial solar eclipse will be visible, with the moon appearing to take a bite out of the sun. Exactly how big a bite depends on the location. The first spot in North America that will experience totality on Monday is on Mexico's Pacific coast at around 11.07 a.m. Pacific time, according to NASA. After moving northeast across Mexico, the eclipse's path travels through Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. Slivers of Michigan and Tennessee will also be able to witness totality if conditions are clear. In Canada, the eclipse will be visible in parts of southern Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island and Cape Breton, at the eastern end of Nova Scotia. The timing of the eclipse and the duration of totality varies by location. Most places will experience around two minutes of darkness, but the longest periods of totality are typically in the center of the eclipse's path. This year, the longest stretch of totality will last 4 minutes and 28 seconds in an area northwest of Torreon, Mexico. Below is a list of timings for some new cities along the path of totality, according to NASA. Other resources can also help you figure out when the various phases of the eclipse will be visible where you live including an if you plan to watch the celestial event remember that it's never safe to look directly at the sun including through binoculars telescopes or camera lenses special eclipse glasses are required to safely view solar eclipses and prevent permanent eye damage